This is the S&P 500 one day reading for August 3rd, 2023. It's currently June 25th, 2023, 7.27 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, the shuffle file we're about to play was created on June 16th, 2023 at 11.06 p.m. Eastern Time. That's this video right here. So the overall theme and behavior for the third, we have a, a, a rally into a key resistance. That'll be on a multi-day kind of scale. And at key resistance, um, we should have sorry that'll be a rally into key resistance on a on a multi-day kind of scale at least the one day kind of scale and from that we should have consecutively lower spikes up on the way down my sense is that we actually see kind of that that happen twice um here around the open and then um at the end of the day we may have a high or a peak or a crest of some kind here at the end of the day um it may not be a high for the day but a peak or crest that stands out here at the end of the day um uh, where we rally into a key resistance and then we break down from that with consecutively lower spikes up on the way down on a one-day kind of scale Behavior around the high side. We have a nullified Strength card so out of a decline. There's a big move from the bottom of a range all the way to the top of a range um, Into the uh, into the high but that high doesn't hold in other words. We um, there's chart behavior um, That takes place making that high somehow irrelevant in other words We probably fall from that high relatively quickly we have behavior around the lowest low. We have a period of sideways rotation, and, and within that sideways rotation, there's a sharp drop that'll stand out on a one-day scale. Um, that sharp drop will take us to uh, support, revisit a support level that was recently a past opportunity. Um, and then I'm advised to trade around a notable decline that'll stand out on a one-day scale at least. There's some cross reading congruencies to a peak or crest, an overbought peak or crest that takes place around the, probably around the open. Um, that we sell off pretty notably from um, in the pre-market we have a move higher we stay above a resistance level briefly and then we break back down through that same price level shortly thereafter that could be the high for the day or we have a high somewhere right around the open when we meet a key resistance and we decline pretty notably into a low at around the opener within like the first hour and a half somewhere um, after we meet key resistance um, and we bump along it for a little bit there's there's a notable decline um, into a low for the day or at least a low thus far for the day there that takes place um, somewhere in like the first hour and a half. Um, there's a trough that takes place again midday after. Um, there's probably some volats some back and forth like price swinging around the low and we come out of that low and make a crest or peak, a crest or peak somewhere around like 1230, maybe a little after 1230. So there should be some volatility in there. Um, at least one sharp drop uh, between the low and all that volatility into the peak or crest and that peak or crest will form when the period of volatility ends with a fast sudden move higher there somewhere around um, 1240-ish. Off of that peak or crest there's a notable decline through multiple support levels. There's a trade opportunity uh, at that peak or crest and then there's erratic behavior back and forth through the same price level. Um, between roughly two and three and in the midst of that we revisit a crest that was recently a past opportunity and then there's a sharp drop off of like a near a near overbought peak or crest there's a sharp drop to a trough there around three o'clock it's a pretty quick move to the downside that takes place in the midst of that erotic behavior somewhere between like uh, that sharp drops somewhere right around from a peak or to a crest somewhere right around like uh, like 12 45 12 50 ish somewhere around there and then out of that trough um, around 1245, 1250-ish, maybe like more like three o'clock trough. There's a rally that increases with the momentum moving forward in time in meeting a, meeting up another important resistance level on a one-day scale, um, from which point we fall from that re resistance with consecutively lower spikes up on the way down um, and sideways rotation along key support that's important on a multi-day kind of scale there around the close. Um, and it looks like overall volumes probably mixed we go from bullish to bearish um throughout the day um and that's the s p 500 for august 3rd 2023 my friends if you like this stuff please subscribe and help out the channel only takes a second and most important make sure to follow that rule of karma it's super important to follow that rule of karma uh, it's the whole purpose of the channel you do so here on the resources tab of our website tarot for traders where we ask that you donate five percent of the profits from the information on this channel forward to one of these charities that guarantees abundance mentality
uh, and 5% of the profits back to the channel, guaranteeing gratitude mentality. You need both of those to manifest successfully. The third component is a clear conscience. Make sure to spend that 90% left over out of love. As long as you do that, my friends, follow that, those rules, and the universe is going to send it back to you tenfold through this channel, my friends. Blessings to all my angel investors out there. I'll see you guys on the next one.